colours I'm going to be using today are from Resinate Mica Powder. There's a Fiery Fusion. There is a um, Buttercup and a Virtuous Violet. I have no idea how this is going to turn out again. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever done this type of pour. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using these pipettes and sucking up the... Um, resin in the pipettes as I spin this and trying to get um, some circles then I'm going to go over it with um, the heat gun afterwards as well just to really see what happens now I'm putting a base color down and it's the fiery fusion that I'm putting down um, so here we go let's see what happens and once again I'm going to be using my my trusty silicone brush to spread this out. I can see this being quite messy, um, but there we go. I've got gloves and that on, so um, it's not gonna get on my hands. So the first color I'm gonna go in with is going to be the, um, pur Purple Passion. Couldn't think what it was called then for a minute. Now I'm hoping it's going to get into these pipettes okay. So let's have a look. Oh, it has. It's gone in. And it's gone in quite well. So I'm going to only be moving my hands. I mean, yeah, almost like a stylus, stylus on a record. So there we go, there's that colour, let's prime that up again, because the next one I'm going to be using is the white, and I can already see that this is pulling away from the edges of this uh, canvas board, but we live and learn, and this is how we do it, because it would have been just pointless trying to um, seal all this if it actually didn't need Ceiling. So this is the white with the um, silver mica in it. This is a little bit thicker. And these pipettes are, are, are absolutely nothing to buy. Either so they're really, they're really quite reasonably priced, and this is um, not using a great deal of resin anyway. So, and then once that's on, I intend to pull through it with a stick, and you will see that as well. Once we've got an, oh, I am so messy, but that'll be all right once we've pulled it through it with a stick. That's could have done with bigger pipettes. But they're not problems to load. And if we don't try these things, we're not going to know if they work or not. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to bring a bit more around there. And get a little bit more around there as well. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to give it a bit of a heat. Sorry about the noise. I don't want to overheat it, but what it will do is, by heating this up, it will get rid of any bubbles that are in there. So it will make it bubble free. And just enough for it to start to spread out. That's what it's doing. That's a 
enough for me on that. And now what I'm going to use, I'm going to use one of my other silicone brushes, if I can get it out of the bag. I do tend to keep, take care of these because I, I actually really like these. They're great, so I do clean them and I do um, ensure that uh, I put them away. So I'm just gonna pull through that one, and through that one, and through that one, and through, oh, my tremor. I'm gonna pull through there, and there, and there, and there. And it has turned it into a bit of a spider's web. But I'm okay with that at the moment. And let's just re that up for that. Yeah. Yeah. That's quite colourful. I know that white is, it should produce some lacing and some cells as well. There we go. Oops. Ow! <laughs> Just hit my head as well. I am so clumsy. So not only did I drop my heat gun, I hit my head as well. Now, I'm not overly impressed with that, so I'm gonna have to try and rescue this painting. And how I'm gonna do that is, I'm gonna try and do a dirty pour in the middle. All right, so let's see what happens. Cause me no impressed, me no love it. Me no love that at all. And I don't think that will be a uh, method that I'll be using again. There's quite a bit of white. And we may have to mix all that around as well. And heat that up. Play around with it. Because the last thing we want is to uh, waste all this resin and this board. Okay. So there we go. Let's pull some of that through. See what's happening, see what we can do with this. That's a little honey barking. She loves it round here. You all right out there, honey? Right, so let's move that around now with this heat gun and get some of this moving okay and let's wait a few minutes and see what that will produce and see how it's going to um, whether it's going to lace up or how it's going to blend into each other or how it's going to work because I am so not enjoying this picture at the moment. Well, I am going to put a bit more blue in it. Uh, why? Who knows? Just because it's there. It's just going to make a muddy colour, really, in the end, isn't it? Let's bring that over as well.
kind of reminds me now of a tie dye um, when we were younger and we used to do tie dye on our clothes. So I'm just going to make sure this colour doesn't. I'm just going to give that another little go over just in case there's any bubbles and around. I can see them popping. Okay, so we'll come back to this in, as I've used resin 8, we can come back to this in about three or four hours and this will be ready, uh, touch, um, dry. That's the great thing about resin 8. Um, we, oh, look at those cells and that popping up now. That actually looks really quite pretty. So it's been four hours since um, I last looked at this and I've taken it off and it's now touch dry. Um, and actually, I'm really quite pleased with it. I think it certainly is better than, than it was. Um, it does, I think, look like a tie-dye. Um, I'm not sure if the colours work. I wouldn't know, but I like it. It's different to what I would normally do, and it's quite aesthetically pleasing to me. So, there we go. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Thank you for watching me try and rescue this poor. Please subscribe, like and share. Bye.